far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high, is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder, while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So if you see the red deer, Run! <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer. You see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three, up. Whoa, look at that! It's a bridge! I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. No, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Oh, wow. Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge. Ah, oh, the great cedar, the father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go. <gasps> what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <laughs> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. <laughs> Told you. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Sure. Just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? 
That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... long. I hope they didn't get lost. No. Oh, look! Look! Over there! There's someone running! <gasps> Marty! <gasps> That's my Marty! Mommy! I'm here! The trees are gonna burn down! Come on, come on, come on! And two, and three, yeah! And again! The red deer! It's too close! Oh, we're not gonna make it! Jump on the log, quick! Marty! Uh -oh. Leo, do we really have to go in the water? Tig, again? Really? <laughs> It's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Uh, I'm I'm in in shit. Shit. I 
was looking for you everywhere. The red deer is not to be trifled with. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> hey, look, now there's four leopards among us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm a leopard. Okay, five. Off with the feathered ones. Shorty! Go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away. We can't get no sleep. Shoot, shoot. Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They, they did, did it. it. Quiet. Stop yapping. Hey, you. Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here with disapproving. Messing with my sleep, boo. Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle to a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just the lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Put it out right now. <laughs> the birds are leaving. <sighs> Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to draw up our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. <laughs> Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told me... Where did me they come from? That they, that they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mappa. He must know. Pandiga! 
creepers! Ah. These are squeaky mosquitoes! Oh, wait. Grab the pine ah. branches! Ah. Get to the cave! Ah. Yes! So now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry, so he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes, for animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. Whoa. And then Wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the tiger. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. 
build your nests, go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdie, sing this song. Sing out loud, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. <laughs> Real catch! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> huh? Oh! Hey, Cuba! <laughs> catch! Ew, Cuba, look, you're a real pig. <laughs> oh, Cuba, stop rolling around. Let's play. Cuba in love. What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love. Love, I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got pearl. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think. What present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. <sighs> Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. 
There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain, you know? Don't you worry, buddy, because we're going to dress you up. <laughs> better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? <laughs> how about crossing the rapids? Or would you <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. All right. 
But next time, you won't get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. <laughs> A wise man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you.